Hey everybody, Jason from iAnimate here. How's everybody doing? So in this week's snippet, what we're going to talk about is how to handle a two-character shot. So in this particular shot that I animated live that I animate, uh, what I was talking about is how to tackle a two-character shot, or at least how I approach a two-character shot. And usually what I try to do is figure out who's the main character in the shot and who do we want our attention to go to, right? So usually what I try to do is put all, most of my attention first on the main character, spend most of my time on that, especially if, if it's a, a time-sensitive shot. Like if, if this was in a production, uh, and let's say it was like, you know, a six or seven second shot and they want this done in a week. Well, I'm usually going to spend about three, three and a half days on the main character and then one to one and a half days on the secondary character. Uh, just so I know uh, how much work is involved, right? So if I spend a lot of time on the secondary character and sort of leave like the, the main character until the end, then I might run out of time. So usually what I try to do is put most of my efforts in on the main character, right? So this particular sound file uh, was recorded by Catherine Murphy, who's a really good friend of mine from back home in Ireland. And she's a, she, she's a voice actress, but also a theatrical actress. And she was putting together a showreel of all these voice voices uh, that you can actually do. And this was of this like upper class uh, couple uh, who are going to retire, right? They've decided to retire, but uh, the female, the actress uh, in, the, in the actual shot um, was basically really proud and excited to share that she's gone into retirement. But the husband, the way I, I kind of, the husband's not in the actual uh, dialogue, obviously, but I wanted to play him as sort of not so happy to be retiring. Okay, so listen to the, to the sound clip. Lord Redbrick and I are officially retiring. We both think it's time, don't we? So, so the big accent here is officially retiring. You know, that's where the one moment that I felt like we want to try to make sure that that has like some emphasis to it, you know. So so when I was trying to think of like the concepts, I figured, oh, she might have a glass of wine or something, you know. And, and maybe instead of like, you know, um, instead of literally just going, Lord Brett, Red Brick and I are officially retiring, you know, or just saying it all to us, I thought she might gesture with the glass a little bit, Lord Red Brick and I are officially retiring. You know, we both think it's time. And then when, when she says we both think it's time then to make her attention go to the other character, you know, don't we like and actually change the tone a little bit there in other words you better agree with me or else you know so listen to it again lord red brick and i are officially retiring we both think it's time don't we right so from here the way i like to do it is sort of put the uh, the audio into flipbook and then start to come up with a concept right so right here is where I start to kind of draw in the way I kind of felt the scene would play up. And, and we wanted to play it like 50-50, you know, so to make sure that uh, Angela and the husband are right next to each other, you know, sharing the screen. I didn't want her to be in front of him or, you know, uh, for him to be in the background of him in any way. I wanted it to like a 50-50 type shot, right? So here, this is the concept that I came up with. Lord Redbrick and I are officially retiring. We both think it's time, don't we? So in here, uh, I'm really playing up the officially retiring. So here, like, you know, a, a, a raise up with the glass, a raise up with her head, you know, looking down her nose kind of at us a little bit, you know, officially retiring, you know, and then come across like this and almost having like a little opposing action, like where her head is going this way and the glass is going this way and purposely like on this one i didn't do anything on albert just kept them pretty minimal just like standing there right and then afterwards like i would make something to kind of support her acting like to just kind of look over look back you know maybe give it a little reaction maybe a little breathing or something okay so from here because now i've done this concept i've got the line sort of ingrained in my head then i start to shoot some reference okay and the reference that I shot was sort of like this, right? Lord Redbrick and I are officially retiring. We both think it's time, don't we? So, so in here, like I'm, I'm playing the loop uh, of audio again and again and again. I'm trying to do something that's in character 
and in sync with the audio. I mean, and it's, it's important to do this, like not to sort of uh, over act it like to, to go really cartoony or anything with it like just to play it a little bit more natural just to see what happens naturally like to try and get into your inner character uh you know uh, while you're doing these these references because if you if you start putting in like all these crazy gestures and stuff like that and um, it may come across as as overacting right so it's it's kind of nice to kind of just play it a little bit more like live action really and um, and then and then start to add in like little spices of things that you would do to make it feel more animated, right? So like the thing that I liked about this was this sort of little double bounce that kind of like that I did up here, you know? Officially retiring. Like officially, because it's almost like there's like two little accents there, like a micro accent in that accent. So it's officially retiring and then coming down re retiring you know with the glass like and i don't have any wine in the glass and i probably should have put some in there because maybe i would have kept it a little bit more still but one thing that i really do want to do is to to maybe push this pose a little bit more uh when i got to the animation like just so it feels a little bit more uh like pushed realism rather than um just straight uh, realistic animation like this doesn't look like the character but you can feel the character starting to come through right 